Chicago with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the Air Race. I gotta admit, it looks faster than mine. But he's landing. Boy, I hope everything is okay. <sighs> what a landing! Uh oh. Who's that lady driving out to meet Clutch? That's Mink Stoll. Mighty pretty woman, but she spells trouble. How come, Mr. Hiram? Well, she's a nice lady, Spinner, but some of her friends ain't so nice. Why, Clutch Cargo, this is a surprise. And what a beautiful racing jet. Thank you, Mink. We named her Lightning Rod. Lovely name. How fast will she fly? That's a secret, Mink. No pilot will tell the speed of his plane before an air race. How stuffy. Well, anyway, my plane will beat yours, Clutch. There she is. The fastest jet racing plane in the world. I call her the Snark. It looks fast, all right. Who's your pilot, Mink? That is my secret clutch. You'll find out when the time comes. See you later. Meanwhile, near the plane called the Snark, a mysterious figure keeps a close watch on Clutch's racing jet. Is our plane all ready for the big race tomorrow, Clutch? Here's a map of the race course. The first leg is from here up across Alaska to the frozen Arctic pylon. Then across the ocean to the Oriental Pylon. Then across the South Pacific back to the starting point. Yes, sir. We'll fly nearly halfway around the world. Is that why you have an extra tank underneath and some of the other planes have them on the wingtips? Right, Spitter. When the extra fuel is used up, we can drop them. How do jets work, Clutch? The jet principle's simple, Spinner. Got a balloon? Sure. The one you bought me this morning. Good. Give it to High. Blow some smoke into the balloon, High. Sure thing, Clutch. Gosh, is a jet plane like a balloon? They have a lot in common, Spinner. But a jet plane has an air scoop in or near the nose. Now, the air goes in here, is heated up by the engine back here, and is blown out of the tailpipe. Back here, Clutch? Right, Spinner. Let her go, High. That pushes the plane through the air. The the escaping air pushes the balloon forward. Gee, I get it, Clutch. It's simple. Once you know how it's done. Say hi. Is that your racing plane over there? Yep. She's my lucky eight ball. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let looks fool you, Spinner. She's a first-class jet racer. Uh, what's going on there, Ace? I can't tell what they're up to, but... I don't like the look of it. I heard that, Ace. Don't be so suspicious. You seem to think everyone's like you. You're right. When I'm in a race, I'm out to win at any cost. That night, Ace Condor slips into Clutch's hangar. Nobody's around. I'll just slip my cable cutter inside the wing. Nothing will happen. <laughs> Nothing until he gets into the air. Will Ace Condor's sneaky trick cause Clutch and Company to crash in the big race? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo, with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the Air Race. Last time, Clutch and Company entered the international air race that night, Ace slipped into the hangar and planted a cable cutter in the wing of Clutch's jet, timed to cause trouble after takeoff. Excitement runs high as the international jet air race is about to begin. Pilots on the line. Watch for the starting player. Ready, set. <coughs> Yeah. 
effort to overcome the drag of the flaps, Bud rolls the plane onto its back, and the flaps drop back into place.
High takes off on the last leg of the race. So long, High. Good luck. Come on, Spinner. Our jet should be fueled up now. As they go to their plane, Spinner tells Clutch about the helpful fueling man. And he's putting vitamins in our plane, too. Vitamins? In a jet plane? Where is he? He's the man in our plane now. Hey, what's going on? I make your plane go fast. Who told you to do this? Very nice man told me. He wants you all go much fast. Who was it? Mr. Ace Condor. Ace Condor. I might have known it. Did you put any of that stuff in our tank? Not yet, but I got plenty for you. Thanks. We can do without it. Come on, Spinner. We've got to get moving. Clutch and company take off from the Kokomoto Pylon and head east across the ocean on the final stretch. Do you think we'll catch up to the others, Clutch? We did have a chance, Spinner, until we hit these odd-looking clouds. Oh my gosh, Clutch. It looks kind of like snow. Something's fishy. It doesn't snow in the South Pacific. But I can't see a thing. Unknown to Clutch, Hiram Biggs' plane is above him and just ahead. Hiram is having engine trouble. Up what the ding, Bojot? I'm dropping like a rock. Just below, Clutch and company are flying blind, right into the path of Hiram's falling plane. Can Clutch possibly avoid a mid-air collision? See the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the air race. Last time, Clutch discovered a man pumping gas about to drop something into his gas tank and stopped him. Later, Clutch and company flew into a strange cloud formation formed by a white goop pouring out of the tailpipe of High Big's jet. Just as the two planes raced toward a mid-air collision, there's something weird about all this. Hey, look at that. We're out of the clouds. We can see. plunges into a steep dive, barely avoiding a mid-air crash. Yeah, that was close. Wonder who? Why, it looks like the lucky eight ball. You're right, Spinner. Hi, Biggs from Clutch Cargo. Do you read me? Loud and clear, Clutch boy. Sure I'm glad it's you. What's your trouble, Hi? I've got a flame out. Don't. I see a little island, Clutch. I'll shut it down there. It looks too short for a dead stick landing. his brakes will not stop him in time to avoid running off into the ocean. Dead bridge! I'll have to use my grab hook. Fine. I'm okay, thanks to my grab hook. We're coming down to help you, pal. Don't risk it, Clutch. You got no grab hook. Don't need one. As long as the engine's running, I can make a short field approach. Many miles ahead, Ace Condor and Tubbs roar through the sky in their sleek snark. See any sign of the other plane, Stubbs? Uh, nope. Sure it's getting dark out, though. Take the cover off the glasses, you dope. Huh? Oh, yeah. Nope. No planes. That's cargo. We'll never catch up with us. Uh, what about old Hiram? He's down in the ocean by now, feeding the sharks. <laughs> if Clutch Cargo tries to pass us, I still got one more trick left. Just for him. <laughs> Back on the little island, Clutch and Hiram get ready to leave. It sure was good of you, Clutch, to land and help me. You do the same for us, Hi. If that silly fella hadn't dumped rice in my gas tank... He thought it worked like vitamins. Vitamins? Hmm. Huh. Them rice grains swelled up in the fuel and got cooked when they went through the engine. And your plane was spraying rice pudding out the tailpipe. <laughs> How did you happen to have that grab hook on your plane? Oh, I just thought it might come in handy sometime. It sure did. And your plane's ready to fly. Let's go. Okay, Clutch. You hop off first. I'll be right behind you. This tip is really going, Spinner. We're lucky we can still catch up with Ace. And I'm going to drop off our belly tank, too. Here it goes. Now I just push the button and... Now we can really go fast. Lightning rod creeps up beside Ace Condor's snark.
Court. Hello, Ace. Surprise? Fetch cargo. Curses. Your dirty work was dirty, but it didn't work. Oh, yeah? <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. Ace eases his wingtip over in front of Clutch's plane and cuts loose a wingtip tank. It flies right into Clutch's air scoop. What the? <laughs> that fixed our Mr. Cargo. What's wrong, Clutch? Ace jammed our air scoop with his fuel tank. Engine quit, and we're 500 miles from land. How can Clutch and company get out of a spot like this? Don't miss the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the Air Race. On the last stretch of the big race, Clutch and company caught up with Ace Condor. As Clutch tried to pass, Ace cut loose a wingtip tank and Ace jammed our air scope with his fuel tank. Engine quit and we're 500 miles from land. Can't get the engine started with that tip tank jammed in the air scope. Got to put her down in the ocean, Spinner. Looks like we're going to have to swim. Hold on. I think Clutch Cargo. I saw what happened. Hiram flies up ahead of Clutch, then cautiously eases down just ahead of Clutch's nose. Hold her steady. What's Mr. High trying to do, Clutch? I don't know yet, Spinner. He's getting awful close to us. Congratulations on winning, Clutch. Thank you, Mink. I deserves the credit. He lost the race helping Spinner and me. If you hadn't stopped to help me, I'd still be setting out on that island in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> Look at Ace Condor and Tubbs. They're crawling down the runway on their hands and knees. What are they up to now? They ain't up to anything, Clutch. They're down to picking up pebbles and rocks off the runway. It was that or go to jail. I forgot you're a deputy sheriff, Mr. High. Yep. It'll take them six months. And they won't fly anymore. When I found out they were cheating, I fired them. Aside from those two, it was a great race. And Spinner, now that you won, what do you plan to do with the trophy? Golly, I'm going to fill it with the biggest ice cream soda anybody ever had. And get a long straw for Paddlefoot. And so ends the story of Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the Air Race. Be sure to join us again for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo.